enjoying art as a global artist community. I want to welcome you to join us today. Let's start this painting. I'm going to use a very light color. Just do a little drawing. Like take a look over here. How about we're going to do this as the flower. And this would be the flower over here. And we try to also include the vase. You can use pencil to draw this if you feel a little bit better. And there's the flower over here, like that. And this, I think this is the good space for the, as a position for all the flowers together. And the bottom over here, I may not, I may let go the white flower. It doesn't really seems belong to here. I'm gonna have the a little flower bud on the top over here. All right, we're gonna try to do it a little bit wet into wet. Uh, so I'm gonna start put a little color into the flower first. I want you to screen the screen your eye. You can take a look at how uh, the color can be grouped together. So I'm gonna take a look at this flower. I can see that I'm gonna have a little bit. Uh, there's a little uh, violet color. I'm gonna have even a little blue color, make it look a little bit darker. Now I want you to take a look at right here. Can you see that? That is just a shade. This is a little bit more shadow area. And also the bottom over here, you can see that is a little bit um, shadow. Like uh, you can use the red color. And over here, I can see that a little bit red color over here, like that, a little bit shadow. And also in over here, it has a little shadow. Okay, like that for now. And over here, I can have a little shape coming in. And I have a little purplish color, the violet color, like that. Okay, and I can quickly have a little color like that, a little color over here. And let's see if you can get the shape instead of this line. Okay, a little bit like that. All right, I'm gonna just open it up, soften that a little bit. There's a little bit soften a little bit. That's the shape, a little bit soft coming out. Okay, a little bit softer like that. And also a little color in here. You see that there's that seeing the inside over here, like that. Okay, I have a little light shape over there. You may be confused, you can say, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at the flower and I'm looking at it like shapes instead of looking at line. And it's almost like don't open the eye, just see a very little going through the little gap of your eye that is screening, squinting. Very much, but it's not about that you don't see color. You're still gonna see color when you screen your eye. You just don't see the, the smaller details, shapes, but see more the darker, the bigger uh, shape. I'm gonna put a little Yep. Uh, and I'm going to so put a little color over here. Right now, it just put a little sh shape over there. And the important part is that we don't want to have the fear control you. And I'm going to see what I'm say seeing now is the darker shape and some lighter shape. And if that's not really came out just like called correct and it's okay we can modify that and on this side you can see that on here underneath over here as right on this side it has mostly a uh, dark shape right because the whole flower it looked like um a round ball but it just have a little bit more um the 
changes. Let's almost look at the tree. The tree is supposed to look like a ball, but however, so many different bunches of leaves, and it make it distract from looking at the uh the wrong the wrong shape. But when you see it from a little distance, you do see it the tree as a wrong shape, right? Hopefully that analysis analytics is related to you. Okay, like that. Now I'm gonna see in this side have a little bit more shadow. I can even make this a little bit darker. See this? I'm gonna have this a little bit darker like that. You see that the whole shape on this side, it has a little bit more darker color. And now on the top over here, I'm also going to have a little bit more violet color. Okay, here you go. like that. I'm going to quickly just use the water, soften that. I'm going to soften that edge over here as well, seeing a little big side over here and this whole side over here grouped together to become a darker area. And that's two. And all right, we just try to quickly to have some color and as the foundation and in the middle over here has a lot of uh, small shape and then we can add to add the smaller shape to the flowers little by little okay and then down over here you can see the light shape and then underneath over here we do see a little bit uh, darker shape which is this petal in the shadow Okay, that's good for now. I'm going to take a little shape, little use a little purple, the violet color with the red. I'm going to put a little bright color for the uh, flower bud over here. I can change it if I want. Okay, so in the top over here, I'm going to lift it, make it a little bit lighter. That's okay. And we can make the deeper color a little bit later. Right. So I'm going to have a little bit light color. Now have this showing there's the petal on the back over there. You can make the petal a little bit lighter if you want. Okay. Now coming over here and also see a little light petals on this of this flower on the right hand side. A little bit over here too. Now that's okay. Now I already have something for the flowers. Now I'm going to working on the background. Now what I want to do, I'm going to make some kind of gray color. Take the blue color and have some yellow color, have some red. Okay. That's a little bit more gray. I get a little bit more yellow make it a little bit more like gray brown color so i think this is put it put it soft color so i'm gonna put it over here first i can change the value a little bit later now i'm gonna paint around the light shape of the flower here like that here you go i'm gonna come in over here now painting around i try to do this a little bit faster so that I can get the uh, consistent uh, changes. Okay, over here like that. Here you go. Now a little bit edge over here. That's okay. Like that. The base are part of the background. I'm gonna make it too. Like that's good. I'm gonna have this a little light shape. Here you go. Now I'm gonna come in a little bit flower. Right now I just wet the paper with a gray color. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna come in over here like that. Here we go. Here you go, coming around over here. Take a look at the shape of the flower, like that. Coming around on the top over here, take a look at this, leave a little uh, gap, 
because it should be a little light shape. Okay, here. And then see this side have a little shape. Now very much finished going around uh, the flowers. Okay, a little, little gap like that. Okay, coming down over here. And then going around to see this is the flower bud. All right, it looks like <laughs> it's very, very uh, uh, abstract, but let's do a little bit more adjusting. I'm going to get the color on this side a little bit darker. Right, here we go, right over here. A little bit darker over here too. Here we go. And now I'm going to start doing a little lifting uh, for the vase. Okay. I'm going to clean my one inch flat brush. What I want to do, I'm going to make this area a little bit lighter. As soon as I make it a little lighter, I can show uh, the top over here, the vase, a little bit more clear. So I'm going to make this a little bit lighter. Also move the color a little bit this way. Okay, now I have some uh, different colors. And I'm going to also lift up the some color on the light side of the vase. I'm going to just lift this up. Here you go. And when I come back to uh, give some adjusting, it can make it a little bit better. Just think about a vase. Think about the value. Okay, like this. And now on the table, I'm also going to have a couple lines like this. You know, now create the illusion of the table. Now the background, we want a little bit texture. It just drop it down like this. Just put some a little texture. The things that the flowers already dry, just the background area is still wet. Textures, it become only the background area. And over here, I'm going to change that over here because this is already dry. I'm going to have this a little bit softer, like that. You can modify it a little bit of the texture. Like that. Make it a little bit different. Okay. Now this is good. Now the background has uh, some texture. That is good enough. All right. Um, now I'm going to come back with uh, working more into the flower. Now I want to take a look at that. After the flower drive, you can see that is it's not really that dark. I'm going to make this little darker value over here. I'm going to take a look. Put that color over here. That color over here. And you see that when you screen your eye, you actually can see the color grouping together. Can you see them grouped together? And if I'm going to connect to the color in the background, and that's how you can create a connection and have the, the soft area connect to the background. And also those color can be also merged into the background as well. So I'm going to make this connect that to the outside. I'm going to use the same color over here. I'm going to connect that 
and a little bit later. So just check with your own process. Do I thinking about the, how the things connected? A little bit more red color. Here you go. I'm gonna have this one stand out a little bit more. Here you go. Like that. I'm gonna add a little bit smaller shape in the middle of the flower. And there's a little shape over here too. We're gonna Divide the thick large shape into a small shape a little bit easier. I know it's not easy to to think this way because you are feeling a little afraid and struggle, but that's exactly what we want to overcome. And we don't want the feeling that we are always doing the things that we are afraid of it. And if you are a member already, right? You can access to the learning center starting from some simpler flowers, maybe a little simpler object even. Okay, now over here, just use the learning center and let me know if you have any question in the problem, put it into your sharing center when you upload your image and I will try to answer your question. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to this side. You see the outside over here? Now a little bit softer, merge into the background. They're creating some dynamic feeling. Now on the background over here too, I'm going to also add a little bit more green color on the outside. Just this is good. I'm gonna put a little green color like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna have it and start preparing, making the vase look more uh, visible. And I'm gonna have some texture, on the left side to the right side, like that. And have a little shape like that vertical coming down. Okay. All right, I know this is not something easy. Flower in general is a complex form. But if you love watercolor, don't be afraid of it. It just try to follow the process looking for shapes a little bit more. Okay, this area I'm gonna looking for the shape like that from darker red to a little bit lighter red. And then we divide it into two petals a little bit later. Okay, like that. Here you go. And more on this side. I'm gonna have a little bit purple color over here too. Divide it a little bit and take a look on this corner. Okay, now see this nice petal. Okay, I'm gonna, ooh, this is very strong. I'm gonna have this color right over here and then make it a little bit darker over there. I'm gonna continue building up the uh, depth of the petals, okay, over here. And also a little shape like that. Okay, a little shape like that and dividing it. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have something a little bit here, a little bit brighter on this side and just have a little bit petal coming up but we want something a little bit brighter, so let's just take a little red color. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have that a little bit lighter shape over here. Uh, and then, so it's quite a bit of small shape of the petal over here. Okay, now a little shape over there. I'm gonna put a little shape over here like this and a little red color, a little brighter 
red color. And then on this side, a little bit more clear shape. Okay. Now, inside over here, we're going to have more shape. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit darker color and keep a little bit soft. Okay, this. I'm going to have some color, even darker. A little bit blue color. And then a little bit feeling green. Put it there. Now I'm going to start adding some uh, green shape like that and then I have a little shape over here start moving up and I'm going to change it to yellow make it feel a little bit lighter now here you go connect that there's a little lead okay that's that's good now I'm going to have a little bit darker color a little bit red and a yellow here you go now I'm gonna take this color over here, make it, I'm gonna change this lead a little bit different. So I'm gonna have this lead like that. They actually make it more interesting. I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow color, mix this color and make it feel like this is the leaf coming out from the flower, I can also come in over here to create that connection to the flower. And then here you go. And now I'm going to start adding some shape of the flower vase right underneath over here. I can see that right here. There you go. And also underneath over here. You don't keep, you don't have to keep painting flowers, flower. As a flower and uh, other object together, they create that illusion. So I'm gonna have a little bit softer coming through over here to create the texture of this, making sure it's a little soft. So now I'm going to start adding a little catch the shadow, but also have some reflection of a little bit purple color on the top over here. See that? A little bit like that. Okay, here you go. Now you can create the suggestions that is the catch the shadow from the flower. Uh, all right, now I'm going to come back to with the last brush. Now I'm going to come back over here. For example, to catch the shadow, I can working on it and make these two color together. A little bit more blue. That's good. Now I'm going to put it right in here. And when you have to catch the shadow, painting around some suggestions for the white petal of the flowers on here okay like that and everything just suggestions suggestions okay why right under here that's good like that and i'm gonna have a little bit line oh that's good getting there and it looks like I don't have to make it too uh, details for the flower. Now I'm going to have just coming up a little bit with some more texture. On the edge over here, I'm going to move the color in here. All right, that's good. And on this side, I'm going to change that a different kind of color feeling is I have some yellow color. Here we go. I'm going to have some color coming down over here. Now it's right at the outside of the, of the vase. 
and like that I'm gonna have change the direction all right now you see lots of connection we already established I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter look at you you're so busy okay All right, I'm gonna soften that even a little bit more. Now on the back of the vase, I'm gonna mix an even darker color, just the blue and the red color, start with, and I think this is a good color. I'm gonna start adding this, make it the vase stand out a little bit more on this side, like that. Take a look. And we're even coming in a little bit, the dark a little bit of this flower petal. All right, that's good. Now the vase stand out a little bit more like that. Okay. I'm gonna use the Fry brush with a little water. I'm gonna start washing the table a little bit and try to create some indication that this is a different plane than the vertical background. Like that. Have some nice. So this is very important. A different way of thinking. We're thinking about grouping, thinking about the the group of flower petal instead of try to figure it out make it very clear and clean as petal by petal and now I'm gonna have a little bit kind of purple color instead I'm gonna put that over here I'm gonna come to start doing lifting so I can start from the flower bud how about that so what I'm gonna do let's take a look when you're using this brush, if you train it well, follow my instruction, and you can, you are be able to create some light shape by lifting. And so now I'm lifting a little the light shape coming down like this. Okay, and a little light enough, and I'm gonna add a little darker shape next to the light shape. It would pop. Okay, and then I think this is, looks good. Lift up a little area and also lift up a little bit, a little light shape over here. Okay, that's good. Can you see that? It's pretty easy to modify. I'm going to pick one area to start with. Now I'm going to just take a little red color with a little bit, well, this is good. This is keep it a little bright. I'm gonna start from this corner. Here you go. I'm gonna have a little color like that. And here you go. I'm gonna have a little bit color. Okay, a little bit later. Now I'm gonna actually have a little bit purple color. I have a couple area over here. Now coming in here. Now this is the time we are giving some details. Now I'm gonna use this calligraphy brush, soften that a little bit, and seeing that a little transition from darker to light. Now that shape immediately showing up. Okay, now I'm gonna have the color over here on this side. Have a little red with this violet. Have a little bit over here too, like that. Okay, like this, that's good. Now I'm gonna have a little shape on this side. There you go, a little bit darker over here. And that's good. Gonna have the shape, the shape over here. That's good, like that. Now, now building up the details. Now let's spend some time 
in the light side, I'm going to get the red color. Wait, that's good. Now, take a look. I'm going to spend some time over here. Okay, right over here. That's good. I'm going to have it have a little shape like that. It's showing the petal. Separate that. Here you go. I'm going to have a little big petal like that. Don't make it too too dark because this is actually together is serving the middle tone in the flower. I'm going to have it up like this. And I'm going to come in down a little bit and I'm all going to separate this from the petal behind. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. That's good. That's all right. Okay, let's take a look at inside of this petal in the middle over here. And we can also create some smaller, smaller shape like this. Connect this over here. Now pay attention to the smaller area. And here you go. It's a little big shape like that on the outside over here and a little bit line. Here you go. A little bit like that. And then on the outside, I'm going to have another petal showing. That's, that's good. And on this side, I have a little bit of petal over here too. Like that. Pretty nice. Here you go. Now over here, see a little bit. Don't have to have lots of color or lots of contrast. Okay, like this, a little bit over here. Here you go. Okay, now take a look at in here, coming up a little bit. And on the outside, now you can see how the next petal had to wrap around that one. That's good. Now, that's good. Now I'm going to make this a little bit darker and also make a little bit more clear for the edge. Okay. Now you see that it's very, very easy to separate it. But you have to get the bigger connection, the bigger relationship, like the depth of the darker color and the lighter color. Right, now I'm gonna come in over here, take a look, I'm gonna have make a little bit shading and to make the suggestions of there is the flower petal at the front. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna stop a little bit like that. That's good. And I'm gonna go back to the center of the flower. Okay, take a look here. Going back over here, I'm gonna create this shape. Okay, and I'm gonna see a little petal on the side over here. That's just fine. And take a look at this little flower petal and coming over here and seeing there's a little smaller petal coming out like this. Just come back over here and there's a little bit, a little bit right here. That's good. Like that. Now I'm going to a little bit clear, a little red over here. Yes, it's very clear separation like that. Here you go. And a little color over here, a little color over there. And I'm not making it up. Sometimes I do, but mostly I am do that from observation. I'm looking at the color, and you see that that is the color over there, and I see the shape how they separate that from one shape to the other shape. 
Okay, right over here. I'm gonna have a little shape over here. There you go. Now, there's a little shape over here. Separate the two petals. Here you go. That's good. And a little shape. And there's the shape over here in between. That's good. I want to take a look at some separation between these two petals. That's good. Now separate already. That's good. Like that. I'm going to separate this from this and a little lighter. Okay. Now I'm going to come into a little purple color. Here you go. Now I'm some shadow side. Okay, take a look at that. Have a little bit separation. Now here you go. Like that. Now on this side, a little bit separation too. And also over here, a color coming in like this, showing this petal wrap around the other one. Okay, now this probably have enough. And I'm gonna come back over here with a little brighter color for this flower petal. Okay, flower bud. Okay, a little bit lighter color over there. And that's good. And I'm gonna have something a little bit brighter. Just over here, a little line like that. That's good. A little bit separation over there. Okay, that's good. A little softer. All right. I'm gonna connect that color over here. Look at that flower bud. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit yellow and light brown color over here like this. Here you go. Now, that's good. Now I'm gonna have some darker tone and here you go, there's some leaves over here. Okay. And I'm going to redo the leaves over here. Like that. Have some little leaf. Maybe a little darker when you get closer to the flower. That's good. And I'm going to have this open up a little bit. So also help to make the flower stand up. And I'm going to have the little yellow color mixed into here. And I'm going to take a look at over here, we need to have a little bit more clear shape like that. A little bit over here. 